We're We're almost here. Come in here. Are we in the Himalayas? Well, no. It's the next best thing, isn't it? Yeah. Foot of the Victorian high country. Look, the next best thing to the Himalayas is a Himalayan. Yes. And it's the new 450, mate. So we're at the Australian launch of the Royal Enfield Himalayan. And um, it'd be fair to say that we have given this an absolute oh, flogging today. Absolutely, mate, isn't it? Like the yeah. last time I rode it was in the Himalayas. That's right. That was late last year. So the bike's finally arriving in Australia. It goes on sale in the next couple of weeks. Yeah. And so they've had all the Australian media, moto media, and influencers yeah. come through and ride the bike over the last couple of days. Yeah. And so we've had our first day on the bike this afternoon. A lot of all pure dirt off-road. Yeah. Some good off-road amongst that as well. And yeah. then tomorrow we get to do a big road ride back to to, uh, to Melbourne, where yeah. the Australian importer. But we've got a hill climb tomorrow morning. Oh, hill climb first. That's a little cold start test, isn't it? Yeah. Before breakfast. Just before breakfast. A little bit of a private tour. But that dude, Cam Donald. Yeah, yeah you where remember, is he? That, that Cam Donald's over there, isn't he? Yeah, there, there he is right? over there. Yeah. Look, he's so understated. But no, he's a man's man, right? Yeah. And can he ride like the wind or what? And you've never ridden with him before. So what did you make at Cam today? So I rode, rode side by side to him today, and I'm, I'm jumping over a thing that was probably about as high as oh. a seat, and he's up yeah, here. Yeah, I know. For a road race, guys, he goes, he goes hard off road, doesn't he? It's exciting Unreal. video, I'd have to yeah, say. Look forward is. to showing everyone. Now, we don't want to usurp our initial impressions video, but what, there's some things that really Oh, you've got to talk about today. your impressions. I had my waffle months ago. Yeah, yeah. You've got to talk about okay. your well, I'm, impressions. Mate. I'm just going to quickly go through it then. Yep. Here, I'll give you the give you the. Yeah, phone. absolutely. All right, just point in the right direction. Okay, a couple of things that struck out for me. I think what you've got to do, if, if you've got a mindset of what a Himalayan Enfield is, you need to destroy that, scrum that up in a little ball, throw that away, and this is a completely new bike. And if, if you're thinking down that line, you need to sit on one of these and go for a ride on one. So the things that surprised me today, the engine, there's a great big wad of power um, low down between about two and about 6,000 revs. It's a cracking engine. I was power sliding in third gear around yes, corners today. With those tyres? With those tyres. Yeah, exactly. So that was going well. The other thing that was happening, the front suspension is amazing. Like we were absolutely hammering along and I look forward to showing the video later on. And uh, that suspension didn't bottom out. It's got no adjustability at all. Show a separate function sh fork. So, yeah. yeah. Exactly. But, it, but, but it no just, adjustability. It was just a cracker. But were you looking for adjustability? No. Strangely no, not. Uh, yeah. Rear suspension, absolutely fantastic. Um, standing in seated position, I'll go into that in later in more detail, but just brilliant. Um, but the actual poise of the bike and how it sits on the road is really good. And um, no, I'm really impressed with it. What it does for the 450 market, you know, you were at the CF Moto uh, launch the other day in the Philippines, and now we're down here in Australia. The 450 market has just really become exciting. If I had a CRF 350, uh, sorry, CRF 300, I'd be shaking a little bit, you know, because this, this is up there. And it's certainly, it, if, if I was in the market for a 450 right now, I'd be sitting my ass on all of the bikes and giving them a decent test ride. I think you would be nuts not to. CF Moto seems to be, from your discussion, Clubby, a little bit more road oriented. Yeah, yeah. And this is much more dirt oriented, uh, but it's got great road manners. No, it's a heck of a package, and you've you got to keep coming back to that price, Dave. Yeah, that's what I say. Mate. It's nine, under under nine thousand dollars. What is it? Nine thousand nine. No, eight thousand nine. Eight nine nine zero. Yes, eight nine yep. nine zero. Yeah, with what was it? Three year warranty. Three years warranty. And three year roadside assist Wait, included. Where was that? Yeah, no, Joe? that was a fact, mate. Yeah, that I was, was just a fact. Looking with that, Joe. That's what they said today. Yeah, proudly no. stated that today. No. Yeah. Exactly anyway, true. really and, exciting. And remember, they let slip today. They've already sold hundreds. 500? 500 was the number so, that got thrown around, and that's an awful lot, lot of, bikes, of bikes, sight yeah. unseen yeah. and untouched for yeah. all those customers. And look, it? I can imagine people you know, sensing there's a bit of hype in our discussion today, but all I'd say to you, forget, forget the hype, forget anything we tell you, just get your ass on one of these um, at a local Enfield store and go for a ride on one. 
if you've got a view of what an Enfield is, I think you, you should just, you need to completely realign that with this new bike. It's exactly true, though, mate. Yeah. It's exactly true. But, um, yeah. yeah, I was really happy. This screen worked well. Nice and stable. I felt that at 100 k's, though, it's Just bear in mind, that's the touring screen the there. The touring screen. The standard screen is smaller. It's uh, over yeah. on that bike. Oh, well, this, this is what I had this on This one's mine. been optioned up. Oh, did you have a bigger yeah, screen? Uh, that's, you? Yeah. Okay. Yep, that's but, a touring um, screen, accessory Yeah, that gave, gave really good stability. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, so anyway, we've got a full review. Got some really good action video. I'll, I'll put that out as soon as I get back to Sydney uh, to show you what the bike is truly capable of, and we'll go into a bit more detail on that. Are there any questions before we go? Anything coming oh, up? Oh, lots there? of people saying hello. Any... Bobby, what do you think of it compared to the CF Moto? Yeah. We're going to get that question day and night for yeah. all to come. Okay, my call is CF Moto. An adventure touring yes. bike yeah. in that mould. I've described this as a trail, yeah. dual sport adventure yeah. bike. Yeah. So maybe this one definitely goes a little bit deeper into the dirt, yeah. into the spectrum. The CF Moto deeper into the yeah. tar, into the spectrum. Now you can see it rocking there, viewers, can't you? Well, oh, it's got a centre stand. Comes with a centre stand, correct? Comes with a standard with a centre stand. Those front crash bars are all standard as well. Hey, how are the brakes on this? Yeah. The it's brakes a big are fantastic. Sucker of a front this brake, is and it works. a really big diameter front brake. Yeah, so but, Biber brakes, which is the, but, the but have a go at this. Brand. Yeah, come around, come around the uh, other side, Clubby. And this is the cracker. Is this this back brake has so much feel? It's excellent. It's um, I was coming into corners and starting to back it out, and just the feedback from the back brake was excellent. And I've just noticed someone's. Yeah, I've reached the front here? brake before. And someone's went through the first corner. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I think they've used that yeah, part. Yeah, it was big, yeah. Someone's. Yeah. Now, big package, big range of accessories also available already. Yeah. Here in Aussie from hard luggage, soft luggage. Yeah. Full on bash plate. The standard bash plate's pretty lightweightish. Crash yeah, bars this with a bash, bash plate. plate. If I went yeah. uh, to today, there was a big log. It's oh. probably about this high. Yeah. And I went to go over it, and then common sense prevailed and went, hang on, hang on. I haven't got, because at the moment it had this. Uh, no, it didn't have that. It had, come over this way, I'll show oh, you what yeah, it had. The yeah, yeah. So, so it had this undercarriage, and I, I, I just thought if I land on that, yeah, that's, that's not going to be good. So Very let's go back to that option one over there, Clubby, and um, where is it here? Yeah, look at that. See, that's that's a decent bash plate. I, I think I think that would be an investment. Yeah, but yeah, there's optional there alloy rear rack that can, that mounts then the hard luggage on the back as well. There's so, the touring one we talked about. Different seats, seat heights, yeah. seat compounds available, hard luggage. So coming back to this, you know, we built the Red Rooster. So from my perspective, to, to adventurise this to my tech spec, I'd just get some bark busters. I'd get that that screen over there. Don't, don't, where are you? Come around. That, sorry, not the screen, this. This. That's got a bash plate, Dave. Bash plate, bars. sorry, bash plate. Screen, touring screen, yeah, the taller screen, yeah, and and that's it. And I, obviously, I have soft panniers. Yep. It's got interesting mounts here. You can have um, some soft luggage here at the front of the yep. bike, cool. um, but it's got hanging points everywhere along it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, one of the things is, oh, how much does it weigh? It's about 190 kilograms, isn't it? Fueled up, it's just 196 ish. Yeah, so yeah, same, same, roughly same, tanks. same as CF Moto. Yeah, 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 very similar there. Well, how did it feel? Was it different or? If this just feels lower. Lower, yeah, and, lower and centre of gravity. Lower centre of gravity and yeah. the CF Moto yeah, is larger in. up in the tank area for sure. Yeah, yeah. And wider there. Just if, like I say, the CF Moto just feels more adventure ah, touring oriented. You're not reading these things. Tom well, Pulver, tubeless rims. Will these be available in a US? They will be eventually. We yeah. just had a tech briefing from Mark Wells, the chief um, of design for Royal Enfield. Yeah. They're having supply issues with the tubeless rims and the tubeless stock. Yeah. And that's why bikes are now being delivered. Do they want to get them out to type. people? Of course, mate. Exactly. Yeah, they want to get them out to you know, the, Apparently, this colourway will come with tube less wheels. Yep. But all the others in Aussie initially will be tube type. Now, wheels. Sammy Nami says a funny thing. He says, Why do seat is the first thing I'd buy? Ha ha. He's kind of joking, but what I'm going to do here, can I do this? I don't know. I'm going to stand up and we'll shoot down. Let's see if I can shoot down. See how narrow it is. 
That's have a look at that. Than a CF moto. That is narrower than a CF moto. That is, that is narrow, boys. Look at that. So it's really narrow where it counts. Really good standing position, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. God, I keep going for the front brake. There's nothing. Yeah, no, it feels so like wrong. The lead is gone. It does. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, we're about to go. Any other questions? We're at about 100 viewers at the moment watching live. Tell us your questions now. Forever hold your peace. There's going to be a lot out there, Dave. Eh? If they've pre-sold 500, they're going yeah. to be like backsides for a while, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll be on the trail everywhere. How? This, this worked all right, too. I love the... So changing... So traction control ABS, you've got to you've got to be stopped. But the beauty of it is now Clubby's just going to do this. Now what's this magic M button? Yeah, so it goes bang, 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 and there it is. Hang on, I'll go through that yeah, again. Yeah, we'll go through it. EK so you've got two ride modes. Tell them that performance. Yeah. Two ride modes, performance, and the old standard end yeah, field engine. Eco mode, which Eco is mode less power standard input, that. Yep. Yeah. And what? Oh, here's now, let me get it back. Right, and you've got ABS on in performance or ABS yes. off. Sorry, and, yeah, you got rear ABS, ABS off. off. Now, what Clubby was doing then to get that is yep. just pressing that. So, one is performance with ABS on, one is performance ABS off, and then you go eco mode ABS on, eco mode ABS off, and that's it. So it's really simple. Um, yeah. Oh, fuel range. Fuel range. So uh, they said, what, 17 litre tank, 17, 17 litre tank and up to 450 kilometres range they've been finding. Yes. You know, it's super economical when you're not hard up it on the throttle. Matt from the north, Canada checking in. Hey. Yeah, I think you will need to go back to the Himalayas on that, Dave. Oh, well, wouldn't I'd it be look, the bike for that ride? The one you just did on the scram. Oh, I'd like to redo the four it of you on this. On this hey. Yeah, imagine that. Yeah, imagine. nah, that'd be good. Yeah, fabulous. Tom Pop and Pulver, cheers, mm. fellas. Uh, any other questions? No. Okay. Well, we're just about to finish up. If there's any other questions, please tell us now. Oh, now. While we're just waiting, if there's any other questions going to come in, uh, rear shock is laid right down. Again, there's nothing adjustable in it, just preload. Yeah. And that's the only thing. And comes with a toolkit, with the tools to do all that. Oh, and to get the wheels out. Yeah. And to get the wheels Rip out. Rip a little toolkit under the seat, mate. Yeah. Yeah. A couple of C-spanners to do the shock preload. Yeah. Yeah. Tools to remove the wheels. Yeah. Who else does that these days? Anyone? No. Anyone? All righty. Um, okay, well, we'll get going. More, more to do on this. I can't wait to show you the footage. Really action-oriented. I, well, I don't think you've seen an Enfield jumping like that. No. <laughs> no. You've never seen a Himalayan do that, do you? Yeah. Hey. Uh, Luke Peterson, hi from the USA. Oh, hi, Luke. Hi, Luke. Good to see you. We might be heading over the USA, Clubby. Oh, know. I could be anywhere. The, my schedule of late, I could be anywhere tomorrow. Yeah. I'll have to check my travel diary. Alrighty, yeah. okay. I think we'll finish up then. No more questions. Um, also think that muffler is very cute. Okay, it is so cute. Yes, show them how thin the muffler is. Oh, hang on, we'll with go the over this converter. one. Yeah, hang go on. over the other one. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on, we'll go over this other one. We can show you that muffler better. Yeah, so yeah, hang so on. it Just can be so short in. and thin because the cat Hello converter from India. is all tucked down there below the swing arm. Who's this from India? Chindanand Bahira. Sorry if I didn't do that well. Hello from India. Yeah, look at this cute little yeah. muffler. And then the yeah. cat converter is all in yeah. underneath there it's below the swinger. Yeah. yeah, she's super compact, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, really good. And what was the quote off the record? Another 10 horsepower to be had by a catless exhaust system yeah. and the, a little hole in the airbox. Oh, there's a little top bit of hole in the airbox. Top the 10 cat. more horsepower. And you get 10 more horsepower. Oh, look at this. Is I that another? I think these bikes have been cannibalised for I all think those these, other journos yeah. in the other group. Oh, look at this. Wrecking. It's got no clutch lever. <laughs> now, why this has happened, ladies and gentlemen, is the previous bunch of journalists are not as good a riders as us. Oh, that must be what it is, That's Dave. what it, it is. What and it they've is. snapped yeah. off parts, <laughs> left, right and centre. Uh, and I guess, if anything, that's a good argument for bike busters. Oh, at least the bikes, bikes bounce, but anyway. Yeah, they do All 18 are well. still here for us to ride the, today and tomorrow. Yeah. These, yeah. um, we saw these crash bars um, used in anger, and they actually do quite well. Hello from Indiana, USA, Travis Stivers. Good on you, Travis. I would like to know how to, how hard to tune the suspension. What is it, oh. what is inside? Well, it's, 
How do you tune the suspension, Clubby? Uh, yeah, I'd find a recommended suspension specialist. Yeah. Shower, separate function fork, right? So the stamping and springs are in there, but no external adjustments. No external Same adjustments. Same for the shock like, other than yeah, the spring, spring preload. Preload, and that's it. That's all you've got. But having said that, like we were jumping these bikes today and I was really impressed with the front suspension. I thought it was good and no bottoming out with a clang or anything like that, it was really good. The 400 to 500 feel of adventure bikes is really getting interesting. Absolutely agree with you. Oh, there's Siraj from Kenya. Good to see you, mate. How was that video? Oh, what's he doing here? Oh, what's happened? What's this? Oh, here we go. Ah, no. now, air filter. Everyone talks about the All air right, filter. So, air filter. It's up here. It, here. They've so moved it's it. Just, it's so, just tank, a... tank comes off relatively easily. Yeah. They showed us at the, the launch in the Himalayas last year. Only yeah. a few bolts to get the tank off. Yeah. Disconnect the fuel hose. Yeah. Breaker. And then the air box is right there. And I think it was six screws from memory to yeah. pull the cover off the air box and then bang you in. Paper cassette type element is standard. All right, a couple and, of questions yep, coming in. Go um, for it. Sam White, stock spec wise, seems like the Surf Moto is taking the cake. Tubeless, yeah, easy ABS, yeah. on, off, adjustable suspension, big yeah, surf. Too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I'd agree with that. Yeah. yeah. I would agree with that. Yes. Looking at spec sheet. Yeah. Brochure to brochure, yeah. yeah. Indeed. Not fair call. Justice, not obedience. That's a funny name for a YouTube handle. Can't wait for mine. Yeah, Another you'll be stoked, comment. mate. Anyone that's bought one will be stoked. Will you on. post the riding videos? Absolutely. Oh, sure. As soon as I get back to Sydney, yeah. we'll be posting yeah. some. Keep the pressure on Dave about that, viewers, all right? Keep hammering him. Hey, ask me what I got in my hand. What do you got in your hand, Clubby? Front axle removal tool. Right there. Oh, Part of, of the toolkit. Where is and it? And it sits in there magnetically under the rear seat. Oh, Look at that. Get out of there. Bang into the axle. Off she comes, yeah. mate. No, yeah. the good thing. Okay, here's another one. Center of gravity must be lower than on the CF mm. Moto. Yeah. Yes, yep, you're getting that straight from Clubby. Remember, you just rode that in the Philippines the other day. So the answer to your question is yes, but they weigh about the same amount. Yeah. And now it's going to be interesting. We can watch live. These 140 people can watch live as Clubby tries to put this seat back on. <laughs> Remember, yeah, it'll be here somewhere, Dave. Bike, you're using it, you Mac. You've got to get that into that. I'm on the wrong side of the bike, obviously. If the CF motor has good low end torque, it will be a better bike. It'll look. God, it's, it, 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 I would say if you're distance and road biased, right? Yeah. On road, gravel road biased, yeah. the CF Moto is more comfortable. Yeah. All right. The motor, the power delivery is more comfortable. You know, less vibration, less feedback from the road, if you like. Yeah. If you're going to be more dirt oriented, off the grid type riding, mate, this thing's totally appropriate for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's the quick summary. Yeah. The quick oh, summary. I'll, I'll come back to that first. I mean, they're both 450s, but one's a single, yeah. one's a twin. One's more, more, just more creature comfort biased, I guess, yeah. is the way I'm going to go back it. to my initial comfort. Anyone who has ridden a Royal Enfield Himalayan needs the old to just forget that, oh. wipe that, and yeah. go back no. into a store and yeah. Yeah. ride this. Yeah. Now, what's our favourite colour? Um, I love the Camath white snowflake oh, effect, this is the white which that's snuff. the top one that reflects the snowflakes in the, the Himalayas. Himalayas in the deep oh, right. of the winter. Well, there yeah. you go. Well, but I'm... the one that the most of the, the four guys that are here, yeah. that are the first four customers from four yeah. different states, they go for the black and gold, black which and is gold? traditionally the Royal Enfield. The Royal Enfield. The and meanwhile, I love this colour. Oh, yeah? I don't mind that. I don't know what that is. That was is. the other one that had the other little flake through it that represents yeah. the the stony ground and the topography of the, of the Himalayas. Of the Moray well. Plains. Oh, in, in the India. Himalayas? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. OK, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah, that's the call. All right, so uh, just about to go one. Hey, from sunny Poland. Thanks, Polsky. Thomas. Jin dobre. Jin dobre, Thomas. There you go. Uh, James, any 450 My Ride video? Yeah, yeah we're going to do that. Uh, what is your first impressions of this versus CRF 300 rally? This is CRF 300 rally, I call a dirt bike, adventure bike. But our one, my one, with yeah. the, the boosted suspension. Yeah. yeah it, it's a narrower, lighter than yeah. this. Yeah. And more dirt trail oriented, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. This will be way more comfortable and faster on the yeah. road or any you know, tr transport section. I, I, I haven't ridden the CF Moto yet, but I was very bloody impressed with this. So this is like a quantum leap on the previous model. Oh, it's like, chalk and cheese, mate. There's, there's no, nothing cheese. similar. There's probably not even a part similar in them. 
No, there's nothing. No, absolutely not. No, no they said that. Yeah. Jamie and Cartledge, g'day from Western Australia. Hey, mate. Oh, here it is. Um, new engine is good but need more refinement. Can you feel the buzz at 80 to 110 kilometres an hour? You can, oh, I, I feel that buzz initially, but it smooths out to me at those sort of speeds. Yeah. No issue. I mean, you, yeah. you get a little bit of... As you're going up through the gears, and if your whole gear's longer, mm. yeah, you'll start to get a buzz, but shift up. And if you're talking about going down the road, just shift up and cruise, boys. Yeah. Brett Kennedy, yeah. hello from the Gold Coast, waiting to take delivery of my new bike. Yeah, good work, Brett. Yangba, can't wait to see you at the ABR Festival. Oh, thanks, uh, mate. Yeah, looking forward to that. Nice. Hoping to grab a beer with you, Dave. Yeah, I'm going to be shacked up in Austin Vince's movie tent, and I've got a couple of movies to show. Nice. All righty. Well, there's a lot of people watching this, Clubby. Oh, how much there's is There's more the watching this than the CF Moto, just for interest's sake. Is and that right? And that's had 37,000 views. Oh, go on, mate. Yeah. Unreal. So, that was only two days ago I was in there and did yeah. that. Unreal. Unreal. All right. Well, we're going to get going. Um, just have a look around. Great riding today. Uh, the place is emptying out now. We've stayed till the end. We're performers. True and true. <laughs> There's your last, there's your last glimpse. All right, don't know. Hang on, one more question, Philip Shepherds. You say the 300 Rally is more dirt bike. You also say the Royal Enfield is more dirt than the CF Mato. Yes. Did I get it right? You yeah. got it right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That's the hierarchy. Dirt, trail, yeah. single track. Yeah. Honda. Yeah. Trail, trail, dual sport. Yeah. Enfield. Yeah. Trail to road to adventure touring CF Moto. Just That's the hierarchy uh, an of understanding of that today. Like in the final hours of this afternoon, we're belting along on single trail on this, yeah. and it's rocky and slippery, yeah. and we weren't going slow. No. And then twin trail with a whole range of jumps, yeah, water bars, frequently yeah. getting air, yeah. and um, mate, I, I was quite surprised. I don't think I'd go much faster than that on a any other bike. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Go on, mate. Yeah, yeah I think we were tr no. really tracking well. It doesn't intimidate you, this bike, at all, anywhere, does it? Not no, at all. no. It's no a, even it, with these tyres and the dirt. Yeah, we had these tyres. Yes, the Seat yeah. tyres, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Good for power sliding, those tyres. <laughs> third gear, too. Third, third All right, gear. wrap it up, Dave. All right, let's go. Yeah. Okay, thanks for the stream from Germany. Okay, Philip, thanks for watching. But as I said, we'll get you some stuff out. Uh, as soon as I get back to Sydney. Okay, thanks for watching. See you guys and girls. Bye. There you go.